Oliver Slope from Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Oliver, thanks for coming on. All right, you've got a big job in front of you. There's some heavy lifting to do. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, that, that might be tough to do, but I, I will say that the volatility on the uprise here uh, to this time of year really isn't all that out of the norm. We've been talking about it for a while seasonally. Get a volatility low in February and start to rally into March and April as that uncertainty around crops in the United States continues to grow. So I think if you were to put a positive spin on it, I'd say, sure, we rejected resistance earlier in the week. We're you know, selling off here in the last couple of days, but there, there, there is good technical support here. And I think there's still a lot of big question marks looming over the market that'll probably keep this thing from rolling over. For corn, looking at that July contract, 615 is the recent lows. That's gonna be a big one to defend on a closing basis. On the December contract, 545 to 550 is what we're looking at. That's psychologically significant as well as technically significant. Now, I wouldn't be su uh, surprised to see some buyers step in at these levels ahead of the weekend. Uh, we do have May options expiration tomorrow. That could potentially continue to play a role in price action and uh, kind of keep things interesting as we round out the week. Sometimes we look for the details, but there really aren't, you know, any, there's nothing really to me huge out there except for the fact we haven't given the bulls to step in and want to, you know, buy. We haven't given them a reason, right? Right. We, we failed to break out above technical resistance, which was the major moving averages in the corn market earlier in the week. And so that failure, I think, probably led to some long liquidation. Now you're seeing the sellers step in. But again, I think it's one of those markets where you just kind of got to take what you can get, not read too much into a one or a two day uh, market move. That's not necessarily a trend. If you zoom out and kind of look at where the market's at, we're still mostly range bound. And I do think that there's still a lot of uncertainty around there. It's going to keep uh, a lot of the large uh, manage money funds from just dashing towards the exits, right? We know yeah. that weather yeah. in the Midwest is extremely important this time of year, and we barely have any crop in the ground just yet. So uh, I, I still think there's a bull case. If we do continue to trend lower, I expect buyers to step in. I agree.